Hey guys, so today we're going to be testing my wife's knowledge to see if she can do an oil change on her own. Uh, she's never done it by herself, but she's seen me do quite a few oil changes, so we'll see if she was paying attention. All right, so this is my wife, and she's going to tell us how we're going to do the oil change today. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go through our checklist of items. So from what I can remember, we need an oil filter, some oil, a funnel. We got ourselves a jack to lift the car up and we have an oil pan. So hopefully that's all I need. We'll see. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds like she knows what she's talking about, guys. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to jack up the car and I believe somewhere under the car is some form of a plug that I need to take out, which I believe means the oil is then going to pour into the oil pan. Once it's all done, then I put in a new filter and then a plug and then I pour the oil into the car. I think. So I might need some help from my husband at some point, but I guess we're just going to give it a go and see how it, and see how it goes. By the way, guys, real quick. So this is, as you obviously see, this is the new car that we got. So it's a 2015 Lexus IS350 F Sport. We are super happy with this thing. Really, really nice. And I'll give you guys a better, closer look um, after the oil change. All right, so what are we doing? What's what do you? We're trying to locate the oil. <laughs> the oil? Yeah, or yeah, I think so. So this is, I believe this is it. I think. I so did. what is that exactly? This is the the dipstick. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. And then I take it and then I clean it. Right, gotta clean it off, and then we put it back in. And I think that should tell us whether there's oil in there and if it's dirty. Yeah, well, let's hope there's oil in it, because if not, that's going to be a problem. Look at that. Okay. All right, guys, so full disclosure, I don't know where to put the jack, so my husband's going to show me. So, there. <laughs> he's uh, taking a look, and then he's going to show me. <laughs> my husband's showing me. What does that mean? Um, okay, that's where it has to go. Okay. All right, so that's where I'm going to put it. <laughs> Um, so we found the oil plug, so I'm now going to remove it and see how this goes. All right, Whew. we didn't lose it. All right, what are you working on there? I am getting to the oil filter. I'm just unscrewing these, nice. these bolts. All right, so I had to run to the store real quick because the oil filter requires this uh, Toyota special tool wrench thing. So I wasn't sure which one, so I bought two. Uh, hoping one fit, one would fit, and this one did. Uh, did. So um, we'll pass it off back to my wife to take the oil filter off. Is it gonna gush out? <laughs> we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> You need to dip your finger mm -hmm. into that oil. This oil? The dirty one? Yes. Just dip it. Okay. Okay, and then just rub it all around that gasket. Like this? Yep, all around. Okay, putting the new filter in. Oh, Good to go. I can't see anything. <laughs> Where is it? Oh. Just gonna put the new washer on the Well done. First oil change. So how was that? 
yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, I didn't know everything. So yeah, I did have to ask some questions and I also needed a little bit of strength to get some of the bolts loosened. But yeah, for the most part, it was really good. I learned a lot and I'm really glad that I did it. Are you enjoying the car, baby? I love it. Yeah? yeah. What do you love about it? What's your favorite part? Uh, I love the interior, probably the best. It's yeah. Very comfortable. It is a nice interior. So what's your least favorite part of the car? There's no digital clock, believe it or not. Yeah, Good isn't chat. that crazy, guys? So <laughs> it's got an analog clock, which is very nice and classy, but there's no digital time anywhere. Not there. Not there. Not even there, yeah. <laughs> and we've looked through all the menu options. There's nothing. Our friend actually works at Lexus and she confirmed that the, this year, this model of IS350 didn't come with a digital time, which is kind of crazy to think. It's yeah. a 2015. My 1996 Forerunner even has one. <laughs> one of my favorite parts of this car is the cooled seats. I've never actually had that before. It's, it's super nice, and the sound system, Mark Levinson, super good. Um, also, another really cool feature is this, uh, it's basically a mouse. So if you see the screen, as I move the mouse, you can move the cursor around. Like that. And you even have a hand rest here for when you're using the mouse. Look what we just spotted. Clean, uh, I wanna say first gen Forerunner, I think, maybe second, who knows? But that is gorgeous, so clean, wow. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick walk around just to give you a closer look of the car. As I mentioned, it's a 2015 Lexus IS 350. It's got the F-Sport package, all-wheel drive, has a snow mode as well, which I really look forward to trying out in the winter, see what that's all about. I really love the look of it, the exterior, it's really slick. Um, but yeah, let's go for a drive and test out the sport mode. So we're gonna put it in sport mode. Sport plus actually. There we go. And we're gonna floor it. Another cool feature I actually wanted to show you is, uh, so this button on the steering wheel, when you press it, it's really cool. It moves the whole speedometer over and just give you so, gives you some more options to go through. So I think that's pretty cool. Well, that was fun. Honestly, this car, for what it is, it's got plenty of power. It's really fun to drive. And when you floor it, it really does push you back in your seat. Honestly, I can't complain. Prior to this, my wife was driving a 2015 Audi A5. It was the S-Line. It was a beautiful car. We, we really loved it, but in my opinion, you can't compare that to this at all. I think the Lexus is better in every way. It's got more power, performs better, looks better, and then the interior is like just a whole nother level. Way, way nicer than the Audi. Um, all the Audi people are probably gonna hate me, but in my opinion, you can't really compare. Um, I just think the Lexus is better in every way. But yeah, we're, we're really happy with this car. Um, I bought it privately as well, so I got a really good deal on it. And it, it's super low mileage as well. So it's a 2015, seven years old, and it has only 70,000 kilometers on it, which is it's around 43,000 miles or something. So that's nothing. So yeah, I couldn't really be happier with this car. My wife's really happy with it as well. Um, if you guys would wanna see more content, of the Lexus, let me know in the comments below. We don't really have any plans as of right now to do anything to the car. We're happy with it being stock, but who knows? Um, things might change. So let, let me know in the comments below what you think. Other than that, I do have some Forerunner content coming um, soon. 
So stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. How do you do it? That thing you do. Follow you blindly. I'll be your fool. Where do you go?